Hello fellow builder and welcome back. Today we get to check out one of Mold King's newly released sets, the Ferrari F50, set number 27066. You know Ferrari loves that classic red, and it suits this F50 nicely. Real quick, I'm testing out a new style for my videos, and this is only the second video with the updated look. It's not dialed in yet, but with some helpful feedback from you, I'm hoping to tweak and improve things over the next few uploads. If you've got any suggestions, or just want to say hi, drop a comment. I'm usually pretty good about saying hi back. Before we get into the review, let's take a look at the other three sets that were released alongside the Ferrari F50. Let's start with set number 27065, the Lamborghini Ascenza SCV12. I've completed the review for this set and will provide a link in the description. Then there's set number 27067, the Porsche Panamera. I haven't gotten around to building it yet, but I'm hoping to dive into it soon. And last but not least, set number 27068, the Ferrari 488 Pista. I haven't built this one yet either, but it's definitely on my list. I'll drop links to the reviews in the description once they're ready. Alright, the moment you've been waiting for, let's take a look at the Ferrari F50. Launched in 1995 to celebrate Ferrari's 50th anniversary, the F50 made its debut at the Geneva Motor Show as the successor to the F40 and the top model in Ferrari's lineup at the time. Though it's packed with Formula One technology, the Ferrari F50 is street legal. Ferrari aimed to give drivers the closest thing to a Formula One experience on public roads, while still meeting all the necessary regulations. Back in 1995, the F50 had a price tag of about $475,000. But thanks to its rarity and legendary status, its value has soared. Today, it regularly fetches over $3 million at auctions. Ferrari produced just 349 units of the F50 between 1995 and 1997, purposely keeping the numbers low to maintain its exclusivity. The F50's chassis and body are made entirely of carbon fiber, which was groundbreaking for road cars at the time. This made the car incredibly lightweight and rigid, giving it that race car-like feel in both handling and strength. One of the standout features of the F50 is its advanced aerodynamic design, especially the large rear wing. This wing helps generate downforce, boosting stability, and grip at high speeds, key for top-notch performance on both the street and the track. The F50 is powered by a 4.7 liter naturally aspirated V12 engine with 520 horsepower. This engine was actually inspired by Ferrari's Formula One technology. It comes with a six speed manual transmission that sends power to the rear wheels. Unlike many supercars that came later, the F50 sticks to its roots with no automatic or semi-automatic options, keeping that raw mechanical feel. With a top speed of 202 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 3.7 seconds, the F50's performance was seriously impressive for the mid-90s, largely due to its F1-inspired engineering. Weighing only 2,711 pounds, thanks to its carbon fiber monocoque chassis and minimalist interior, the F50 is incredibly light. This low weight plays a big part in its fantastic performance and nimble handling. The Ferrari F50 was designed without modern driving aids like traction control, ABS, or electronic stability control. Ferrari did this on purpose, aiming to give drivers a pure, raw driving experience that really tests their skill. It's a two-seat roadster with a removable hardtop, and the design takes inspiration from Ferrari's race cars. Taking the roof off lets you fully enjoy the roar of that V12 engine in an open-air setting, making the driving experience even more intense. If you know any other cool facts about the Ferrari F50, feel free to drop them in the comments. Before we get into this Mold King review, if you're enjoying this video and want to support the channel, please take a moment to hit the like button. It really helps the algorithm get this video to other passionate builders. Alright, let's compare the dimensions of the Ferrari F50 to a LEGO Speed Champion and a Rio Brick set. So does LEGO Rick fit inside the Ferrari F50? He fits nicely, and with the convertible top, his hat is not an issue. Let's talk about presentation. 
Mold King always nails it here. Everything is simple, clean, and consistent, but don't mistake simple for generic. Their embossed boxes and high quality instructions stand out, and the included display case really sets them apart from the competition. Now let's dive into the design. The Ferrari F50 looks incredibly sleek, with that classic red catching the eye. The engine detailing is impressive, and while the stickers are minimal, they blend well with the bricks and enhance the overall look of the set. In terms of complexity, this set is about a 3 out of 10. It took roughly 2 hours to complete. When it comes to money value, this set is usually priced at $21.99. With 352 pieces, that breaks down to around 6.3 cents per piece. I'll drop some links in the description for you, but always use your best judgment when shopping online. Let's talk about the pieces. Mold King's F50 comes with high quality bricks, and I didn't run into any issues. The four websites on the screen all have offered Mold King sets. I've personally shopped at all of them and feel comfortable doing so again. I've even made a few videos reviewing the non-Amazon sites and my experience at each site. When it comes to entertainment value, I had a great time building this set. There were a few one stud connections, but they stayed put just fine. So how does the Ferrari F50 stack up? Overall, it's a solid build. The front is secured with clips, and Mold King did a nice job integrating it with the main body. The only thing I noticed is that the windshield isn't supported on the sides. It's not loose, but the back has a bit of flex. In terms of functionality, there aren't any moving parts in this set. And as for bonus or unique features, the F50 doesn't have a lot of colorful pieces included. So how close did Mold King's F50 get to the real Ferrari? Overall, I'd say Mold King did a nice job capturing the look of the Ferrari F50. So I'd rate the brick version a 8 out of 10 compared to the real thing. As for my overall rating of this Mold King set, I'd give the Ferrari F50 a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Fellow builder, I hope you enjoyed this Mold King review. And if you've stayed this long, consider subscribing and maybe share this video. Also check out the other videos on Ricksburg's main page. Thank you, and until next time, keep building.